oh, I just realized that I didn't turn the audio on. So let's do that introduction one more time. Ah. So welcome to Panorama TV's reopening event. This is Backyard Concerts. My name is Bill Lang. I'm your host and visual storyteller. So this is our first in a series of Sunday afternoon music concerts. This production will be live streamed as well as recorded for future rebroadcast. Thank you for joining us. And now I'm going to try and turn this over to the Larry Huntley um, on camera number three. So let's see if we can do this. Good afternoon. My name is Larry Huntley, and the melody I just performed is from J.S. Bach's Cantata No. 208. It's an aria for soprano titled, Sheep May Safely Graze. I feel privileged to have been asked to perform the first backyard concert at Panorama. Today I will be sharing music that I personally find consoling during the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. It is my sincere hope that this program of meditative music will provide each of you some solace and uplift, as well as possibly a little hope for a brighter tomorrow. The next selection is from an opera by Handel. Most of you know this piece by the title Largo. In actual fact, it's sung by the main character in an opera titled Xerxes. And Xerxes is sitting under a beautiful tree, such as the lovely trees we have here at Panorama. And he's admiring the beauty of the tree with these words. Tender and beautiful fronds of my beloved plane tree, let fate smile upon you. May thunder, lightning, and storms never bother your dear peace nor may you by blowing winds be profaned. 
A shade there never was of any plant dearer or more lovely or more sweet. Largo by Handel. In the fall of 1900, opera composer Giacomo Puccini attended a play in London entitled Madame Butterfly, A Tragedy of Japan. One scene in particular created by the play, player's uh, write, writer and director, David Belasco, inspired him most of all. It's Butterfly's vigil as she awaits the return of Pinkerton, her American naval officer, husband, which involves several moments of silence. In the opera that Puccini wrote in 1904, he makes this a musical arresting moment with a melody labeled Coro Abajo Yusa, a melody to be sung by a wordless offstage chorus. It's known simply as the humming chorus. So to create the humming chorus, I will be putting a mute in my bell and attempt to sound like an offstage chorus. <clears throat> Thank you. 
The next piece is by Piero Mascagni, and it's from his Cavalieri Rusticana. It's at the end of scene one in this one-act opera, and most of you know it simply as the Intermezzo. It's for orchestra alone, and it's titled simply Intermezzo from Cavalieri Rusticana. The next few selections are hymn tunes, and of course this first one is perhaps one of the most, if not the most, well-known hymn in America. Many of you undoubtedly are familiar with the fact that the words for this anonymous hymn tune were composed by one John Newton, former captain of a slave ship who later became ordained at age 39 and became a minister of the Church of England. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Abide with me, fast falls the eventide. The darkness deepens, Lord, with me abide. When other helpers fail and comforts flee, help of the helpless, oh, abide with me. The words of this next hymn was inspired by a tragic event in the life of Horatio Spofford, an attorney in Chicago during the time of the 1871 Great Chicago Fire. Spofford and his wife lost their only son at the age of four earlier in that same year. His remaining family, wife and four daughters, traveled to London in 1873. Spafford unfortunately had business, so he couldn't travel with them. An accident at sea resulted in the death of all four daughters. Upon arriving in London, his wife telegrammed his, him with the words, Saved Alone. En route to joining his grieving wife, Horatio wrote these words as his ship passed near where his daughters had perished. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul.
Sweet Home. This song had its origin in an 1823 opera, Clary, or The Maid of Milan. The song's melody was composed by Sir Henry Bishop with lyrics by John Howard Payne. In 1852, Bishop relaunched the song as a parlor ballad, and it became very popular in the U.S. throughout the American Civil War. In fact, it was reputedly banned from being played in the Union Army camps for being too redolent of hearth and home and so likely to incite desertion. The text reads, Mid pleasures and palaces though we may roam, be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. A charm from the skies seemed to hallow us there, which seek through the world is never met elsewhere. Home, home, sweet, sweet home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Many of us, if not all of us, are quite familiar with the Largo from the New World Symphony of Antonin Dvorak. <clears throat> this lovely melody was adapted and arranged by one of Dvorak's pupils, William Arms Fisher. And many of us probably know this song by th those lyrics, which read as follows. Going home, going home, I'm a going home. Quiet like some still day, am just going home. It's not far, just close by, through an open door. Work all done, care laid by, going to fear no more. And I'd like you to join me in remembering on this occasion something that happened just three weeks ago, and that's the death of one of the great civil rights leaders and wonderful human beings in our lifetime, namely John Lewis. Thank you. 
The final piece on today's program is a song that I have performed several times with piano accompaniment, and only one other time without accompaniment, as today. And that occasion was about 15 years ago at a rehabilitation center in Asheville, North Carolina. On that occasion, a resident provided a poignant reaction that reminded me of both the power and the gift of music. At the end of my prepared karaoke program of Broadway show tunes and patriotic songs, I decided to add Schubert's Ave Maria unaccompanied. When I finished, I noticed a resident in a wheelchair fast approaching with tears streaming down her face. She exclaimed the following, Mr. When you played the Ave Maria, you made me cry. I started to apologize, whereupon she stopped me, put her hand on my arm, and added, You don't understand. They were tears of joy. Sheen, founder of Tiny Buddha, has written, Sometimes music is the only medicine the heart and soul need. It's my sincere hope that the music I've shared with you today will have in some small way fulfilled that kind of need. Thank you for listening to today's Songs of Comfort program. Thank you.